Hello, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, we had discussed the concept of bookkeeping, objectives of bookkeeping, types of bookkeeping, accounting, meaning, introduction. Now, in this video, let us discuss the topics journal, ledger, and trial balance. The word journal has been derived from the French word jour, J O U R meaning daily records. Journal means a daily record of business transactions. It involves chronological record of transaction in a regular basis. Journal is a book of original entry or prime entry because transaction is first entered in journal and then from journal it is posted to ledger. The process of recording transaction in journal is known as Journalizing, it involves passing of journal entry. Journalizing involves passing journal entries which affects at least two accounts. One account is debited and another account is credited. Amount in debit column should be equal to credit column. Now, uh, this is the specimen for journal. Here we have five columns. First is date column. Second is particulars. Third is ledger folio. Fourth is debit amount column and fifth is credit amount column. Journal has the following five columns date, particulars, LF, ledger folio, debit amount, and credit amount column. First is date column. In date column, which records the date when the transaction is entered in journal, particulars involves journal entry for the transaction. In this column, the account to be debited and credited are entered. A brief explanation of the transaction known as narration is also given below the account to be credited. Narration involves the details of the transaction which is prefixed with word being. Third is LF or ledger folio means the page number of the ledger in which these account appear in the ledger. Fourth is debit amount. In this column, amount to be debited is entered. Fifth is credit amount. In this column, amount to be credited is entered. Now, next topic is ledger. A ledger account is made, defined as a summary statement of all the transactions relating to a person, asset, expense, or income, etc. A ledger is a book or collection of various accounts in which transactions are record, recorded on a daily basis. A ledger is a book which contains various accounts where it records transactions relating to a specific amount. Account is recorded. A ledger is a book or collection of accounts in which account transactions are recorded. The ledger involves a set of accounts where transactions of similar nature are entered uh, into separate account. So this is the specimen of ledger where we have eight columns, four columns under debit side and four columns under credit side. Uh, under debit side, uh, it involves, it includes four columns. First is date column, second is particulars, third is JF column and fourth is amount column. Under credit side, we have four columns, date, particulars, JF and amount column. Ledger has the following eight columns, four columns in debit and four columns in credit side. Debit side is written as uh, in the top of the uh, left hand side, capital D small r, which has four columns. One is date column, second is particulars and third is JF or general folio, fourth is amount column and uh, Right hand side is credit side which is written as capital C small r. Uh, the columns are date column, particulars, J or JF or journal folio and amount column. So date column in both the side uh, records the date when transaction is entered in journal. Particulars in both the column, both the side involves account to be debited as well as credited with amount. Then JF involves journal folio or the page number of the journal in which these accounts appear in the journal.
So these are the columns under ledger account. Now next topic is trial balance. Trial balance is a statement containing the various ledger balances on a particular date. A trial balance is a report that lists the balances of ledger accounts of a company for a particular period of time. Trial balance is prepared in order to verify the arithmetical accuracy of the ledger account. So trial balance is a statement containing the various ledger balances. Uh, both Debit and credit balances are transferred from ledger account to trial balance relating to a particular accounting period. So trial balance is prepared in order to check the match between debit and credit balances of ledger account. Now this is the specimen of trial balance. First we have to write the company name. Then we have to write trial balance as at the closing of the account we have to write. Uh, it may be 31st March or 31st uh, December. Then uh, we have to uh, prepare the columns. First column is account column. Second is debit amount column. And third is credit amount column. First we have account column where all accounts are entered being transferred from ledger book. Second is debit amount column, where all debit balances transferred from ledger book are entered. Third is credit column, where all credit balances from ledger are, are entered. At last, after entry of all debit and credit balances, trial balances should be tallied. In the next video, we are going to discuss the other topics of accounting. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.